Hey you guys, I hope the lighting is set up okay. I had one of my friends come over and they actually helped me set up the lighting for my filming area. <laughs> it's kind of a jacked up mess right now. I have a light like sitting on my bed. I have one over here. I'm trying to do the best I can. But um, I wanted to share with you guys a palette that I'm going to try and hit pan on. Um, this is my first time doing a pan that palette. I'm not wanting to completely finish the palette. I just want to see some progress on it. Um, I know to some people it doesn't make sense to use up your makeup, but I want to get my money's worth out of it and enjoy that product while it's still fresh and not have to just bin it because it's too far gone. Um, so I'm going to try to hit pan on the limited edition, I believe this was 2016, um, holiday for the Urban Decay Full Spectrum palette. Um, I know it was limited edition, I think I've had it for a year, um, and I haven't really used it a whole lot because of that. Um, you guys are going to see a shot of my background area, but um, here are the shadows currently. I am going to try to insert swatches if I can. Um, so these are the swatches for the Urban Decay Full Spectrum palette. This is starting with the first row, second row, and third row. It's Alchemy, Warning, Midnight Blaze, 100, Minx, Delirious, Platonic, Gossip, Seas, Calavera, Hatter, Blindsided, Sketch, Iced, which is a silver, it's not really showing up on my skin very well. And then the third row is um, Paranoia, Jones, Goldmine, Mean, Metamorphosis, Faded, and Bump, which is a white and it's not quite showing up. Um, all these swatches were done with... Um, no primer. I did put lotion on before I filmed this video and it did sink into my skin, but I just wanted to show the colors and this was done with uh, finger swatches. I rubbed my finger in the shadow um, once and no, it might have been twice. Uh, twice just to build up the color and then I put it on my arm and I just did one swipe on my arm. Um, I just wanted to have swatches of this palette before I panned it. But this is what the palette looks like right now. It looks like it's barely been used, which is true. It's only been used a handful of times. Um, but I want to try to hit pan on these shades. Urban Decay shadows, I've heard, are very, um, difficult to hit pan on, like, easily. Um, it's a tougher formula than compared to, like, the rock eyeshadows, which are very soft and have a lot of kickback. Um, so this is going to be a challenge, uh, but they're not as difficult as, like, MAC eyeshadows or... I think Too Faced is like right in that range as well. Um, this is just based off of my lo my knowledge of how my eyeshadows perform and um, in some of my panning pages as well because I asked them for advice. But I'm going to try to update, I want to say monthly, but I don't know if I'm going to have that much progress in the first month because because it's so new. Um, so I'm going to try to update. If I don't update, then I'll update the next month. 
but that is my plan. Um, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below some uh, favorite color combinations or something. Something to help me get use out of this palette because I love... <laughs> I love this palette and I want to be challenged. Um, so I think this is a good way to do it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, you guys.